Alten Suche Mongolian artist based in Sweden held its 11th solo exhibition in Farntorp, Sweden, known for its nature reserve. We have detail from our MNB reporter in Sweden, Alter Hishuk. His nature-themed exhibition is called Metamorphosis. The venue he chose for his exhibition is a very unique place, a restored shale oil mining site, which has attracted the attention of art critics and visitors. Artensuk is the first Mongolian artist to hold an exhibition at a site like this one. He said that showing his exhibition at this mountain formed from a large amount of shale waste allows him to highlight an example of environmental restoration for the next generation. My name is Alton Soch and I'm a painter. I've lived in Sweden for 20 years and I graduated from university here. I've had 14 solo exhibitions and I've also been in more than 50 other exhibitions. So far I've created more than 400 paintings. This place is called Kvarntorp. This site was formed by shale waste. Since the 1990s, this area has been used as a nature reserve. I had the idea of having an exhibition in this area, because ever since I was a child, I liked going to the mountains. This exhibition is related to summer and nature, and all the paintings are about fantasy nature. I never have a plan when I paint, I always paint alone in my studio. My style is fantasy and modernism. Painter Altansuk graduated from the Royal Institute of Art with a master's degree in fine arts. One of his biggest achievements was being awarded the Alfred Nobel Scholarship from Karlskrona. Now let's learn about the history of the artificial mountain where the exhibition was held. It's an artificial mountain made of shale oil waste 157 meters above sea level in Kumla, Sweden. Before 1942, this was a farming area. During World War II, due to the interrupted oil supply, the Swedish government started extracting shale oil in this area. At its peak, the fuel industry produced 100,000 cubic meters of shale oil per year. 5% of the extracted shale oil went into producing fuel, while the remaining 95% was chemical waste. In October 1966, mining operations were stopped because burnt shale remained underground. In the 1980s, the Swedish government decided to restore the area with the environmental restoration being carried out for more than 20 years. Yeah, uh, you know, this area in 1940 about, it was uh, like a peasant, uh, peasant place with uh, small farms and and where you can uh, have some agriculture and things. But after 42, they started to digging after slate. So all the waste get, get into this very heap. It's about 100 meters high from the ground level. Today, this area has become a popular destination for art lovers, sport enthusiasts, ornithologists and tourists. You can see how money has been spent and how local people, community organizations and volunteers have helped restore the area completely destroyed by mining. The site has become a pleasant park for people to go fishing, visit, picnic and create art.